guys I'm going to try and keep this video very short as you can see a very very small tangerine is 10 pesos you've got the usual street traders that if they see any authorities they uh, get up very quickly and run now all the stores on the bottom of the people's mall it's all fruit there's uh, no vegetables at all now the fruit on the bottom stalls here are just slightly more expensive expensive sorry than if you went upstairs and basically it's because the rent for the downstairs with them being in a prominent position is more expensive than upstairs now I keep getting asked about prices going up prices are going up the price of rice for a 50k bag just what 10 12 months ago maximum was 1650 now it's 1900 for a 50k bag of premium rice the cheaper rice obviously that not a lot of Filipinos want because the connoisseurs of rice are uh, cheaper but they won't buy that type of rice <clears throat> so the other thing is onions the brown onions now they have absolutely soared in price now Filipinos generally on the whole go for the red onions and not the brown and I think there's been less of the brown onions sold now simply because they're very expensive and nobody's buying them so we're going to see how easy it is to find the brown onions and we'll ask how much the red onions are now this is where I come when I want my bananas, my lemons, garlic, ginger, come up here because it's cheap, well, cheaper, let's say. Now, if you come to buy your bananas here, they can be anything from 30 pesos a kilo to 60 to 80 a kilo, depending on the size of the banana the quality of the banana however it's like anything if you know where to go you can work on a reasonable budget like me and Mel does hello and this is where I come from our bananas why do I come here because I can get a bunch of these bananas for 18 pesos a kilo they don't rip you off here it's a good stall they're honest I guess it's her mom she's lovely and she always she always knows what I'm gonna buy when I come so if you want bananas you've seen where I've come from don't go to them stalls come straight to this stall and they'll look after you they won't rip you off even though you're a foreigner and I'm not saying they all do it anyway bye bye I'm not saying they all do that but you do sometimes tend to get the foreigner price right now this is where you'll get your veg and your onions potatoes I'm not sure on the price but the garlic is about 100 pesos a kilo ginger for a large piece of ginger I'm not sure what the kilo price is but for a large piece of ginger fresh ginger you'll pay about 30 pesos so you'll get four pieces of ginger for about 120 pesos as you can see there's no brown onions in fact I don't think there's red onions unless I've uh, missed it while I'm yapping but I go straight to the stalls I know I'm going to get a good deal because I go there every time because I know I'm going to get a good deal so you come to the top floor if you want your veg there's a lot of fruit as well you get your uh, smelly fish your dried fish which you know I love so much but this is where I come for my lemons now let, let me show you this right so I tell you how much how much are your lemons normally how much are your lemons? 20. 20. 20, right. 
now these are quite big lemons now you go anywhere else the lemons aren't so big in the 25 pesos so me being me i said i tell you if if i buy 10 lemons can i have 11 for 200 and bless a little cotton she said yes she's lovely so come here for your lemons and your oranges and what have you four for 50. right now so far there's some brown onions but they're not looking so good i'm just getting some really beautiful garlic lovely big pieces of garlic again it was 100 pesos for a kilo i'm surprised it's not as not more busy it's normally very busy so you can see there's not many places selling the brown onions you get your red onions red onions they don't feel very fresh now we've got brown onions here look they're not very big let's there's nobody here there's a chap here how much how much are your brown onions a kilo 200 kilo 200 200 a kilo so it's 200 what about the red onions how much a kilo same 200 so it doesn't matter guys whether you get the red or the the brown onions 200 a kilo that's come down in price because the last time i was asking about a kilo and i kid you not i got one onion it was large granted it was 130 just for that onion eggs have gone up there's some stalls the eggs are 11 pesos each I love coming up here on my own and just walking around it gets gets you through the day so again we found one stall with some brown onions let's see if there's any difference in price we can find some more brown onions which is quite difficult oh here we are look some brown onions in there not many though so a day oh these are nice onions as well how much a kilo 240 a kilo see there's a 40 peso difference than from around there but they're nice big onions so it depends guys and again i'm not saying she's up the price because i'm a foreigner but it does happen and you if you've got a, a partner it's always best to let your partner go and ask prices and what have you oh broccoli do you know i've not had broccoli for ages so that's it guys that's what i wanted to show you there isn't many stores have the brown onions and i've just said that and look that's uh, 55 a quart so that's 120 a kilo so it's slightly i mean these are nice onions as well look at these these are very nice onions and they're 10 pesos less and the other guy he's 20 uh, well up to 40 pesos less so it's not every stall that's selling them and it used to be the case before the pandemic and it's a case you know i keep telling guys that i talk to it's it's one thing to come here as a tourist it's another thing to come and live here totally different as a tourist you've you've got a quite a large budget for the short time you're staying here but if you're staying here long term you've got what you've got whatever your constant income is a month this used to be quite a cheap stall but i think somebody else has taken it over and it's not it's not so cheap anymore they used to sell loads of lemons they don't particularly sell lemons anymore and um, when i come last time the lemons i had were small and the seen better days eggplant i love that when mel fries it and stuff so that's it guys please hit the like button please subscribe and share our videos 
please share our videos guys very important to get us a few more subscribers tell people about the videos please give the thumbs up or thumbs down it's irrelevant to the trolls and please try and watch our videos to the end or at least let them run to the end otherwise we don't get nothing so until the next one guys bye bye